Good morning. We were getting set up on the pond that we hunted yesterday. Unfortunately, the pond that we were going to hunt today, somebody else is hunting it. We got to the spot and somebody else is already there. So we figured we might as well come back to the spot we hunted yesterday. We did really well and we had a lot of groups come by while we were picking up. And so we'll just give it a go. We got a pretty similar wind. So we're going to set it a little bit differently. Um, we can't really put the blinds where I would like them to be because it's so soupy down in there. Like your chair would sink and it'd just be a bad deal. So we're gonna set the blinds up on the bank here and we are just blacking this thing out. So we've got uh, a few of the HD honkers, the full bodies that I use from Final Approach. We got five dozen of the silhouettes. Steve brought some shells, Levi brought some full bodies. <laughs> this pond is black. So we're running them all in the water with some floaters and then up the bank into kind of like the pasture where they're gonna be feeding. Um, it's one of my favorite ways to hunt geese on ponds is to put a big full body or silhouette spread out and uh, get, them, get them coming in hard because we think that you know there's some tasty grass down in here. But here's, here's where we're going to set the blinds, right here. It's the flattest, hardest, not sinkiest spot. It's probably about a 25 yard shot out into the water. So ideally they're going to just cup right in and do it right. But I gotta help get things set up. I'll see you guys when we get everything done. Steve, you wanna be on the video today? Sure, man. You setting the spread? Yes. You doing a good job? I don't know. Levi will tell me. I think it looks pretty good. Thank you. So, here's the water, guys. So we're gonna try and hook this around like Steve did there. And the rest, we're gonna hook off into a horseshoe and just put a big pocket right in the center, kinda like that. Off he goes. Leave it, Max. Sweet. You're really good at that. You're getting like 20 yards on those things. I really hope the geese show. They should. They should do it right. Yeah, I got mud on my face already. That's how it's gonna go today. Well, we're all set up. We got quite the decoy spread out here can you guys see it a little bit we got the fa silhouettes full bodies floaters two a frames and uh now we're just waiting for the geese oh we got we got the pulsator we got steve's wop the last word is pulsator i don't want to say it because i want to keep this child friendly it's a wop last word is pulsator but uh, i've been getting a lot of questions about these in the comments i don't think i've talked about them in videos this season very much and that's my hearing protection these are tetra alpha shields they just go in my ears they are electric they are electronic hearing protection and uh they're the best hearing protection i've ever used i hate hunting without ears in now so check them out i'll have a link in the description and you can use the code outdoor limits 10 to get 10 percent off you can hear everything your calling sounds normal i can hear the birds i mean it's the best hearing protection in the game. Just get hearing protection. If you don't get these, get hearing protection. I'll get those. Get hearing, aids. <laughs> hearing protection is cheaper than hearing aids, that's for sure. But, all right. We're set up, ready to go. Hopefully the geese fly. Pretty similar conditions to yesterday, not quite as cold. We got a little bit of wind, it's cloudy. Got a good feeling about this. Get it, man. Get it. Damn, Josh, I was gonna take a picture. 12 gauge, baby. <laughs> I just think he wasn't digging it. Greenhead came by, so not a skunk today. That magic BB just did it right. I mean, that was kind of a poke, but. You know, sometimes you just get lucky, break a wing or something, and down they go. Haven't seen many geese flying yet, seen a couple. Nothing came over to give us a look, but it's still pretty early. I'm thinking probably about nine o'clock is when the geese are gonna fly. Spread looks good, the hide looks good. We're ready, we just need the geese to show up, but having a green head on the board is not hurting anything at all. 
So, we'll wait for the honkers. They're locked. They're locked up. Heads down. And maybe we're just not spread out enough. At this place? Yeah. Because yeah. it kind of doesn't look natural, if you ask me. Right about just keep your head down. Get him up here. Hit him. Hit him, Josh. Hmm? They're wanting it. Yeah. <laughs> Let them work. I think this will be the pass. Ruffled hits feathers. Heads up. I got that one right there. I don't, I triple. Did we get them all cleaned up? The goose is beating him up. Come on, bring it back. Let's get a little time check here. First group of geese, 9.30. They didn't finish exactly how any of us would have really liked them to finish, but they gave us some good shooting opportunities. That ball of fire up there was problematic. Would you guys agree? I pulled up, I'm like, I can't see. You see through the sun? But pushed a few decoys out a little farther into the pond, hoping that that'll kind of convince them to land. I think they might have just been hugging the bank too tight and didn't want to finish completely, but we'll see what the next group does and keep making adjustments as we go. I don't know. They should be getting back from feeds pretty soon. Hopefully it'll get rowdy. Are you talking about this pair? Here they come. There's, those two are locked up and there's two more quite a ways behind them. Just two. These two are coming right behind them. They're dumping in right now. Man, I wish those two were coming faster. They were dipping and diving coming in. Well, we got all the decoys picked up. It wasn't a horrible day. Um, oh, I guess the wind switched. It's just a, a complete 180 from yesterday. Totally different day, the birds acted completely different. 
I mean, yes, we hunted this pond yesterday, but there's a lot of birds in the area that were trying to use this pond that we didn't shoot at. And I don't know, just kind of an unfortunate situation that people were hunting the pond that we were gonna hunt. We could hear some shots coming from there, but not much. So I don't know if we would have done any better on that pond. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven geese and one mallard today. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave me a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button. It means a lot when you guys do that. If you want to help support the channel, I got these Spoonies hats on my website and a whole bunch of other ones. So make sure to head over to my website, check out my merch. You guys purchase something, helps me keep doing this and keep making videos for you guys and be able to keep hunting. So I really appreciate it. But I think that's about it for today. I'm going to go home and take care of some stuff, maybe edit a video and get some food. I'm hungry. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you on the next one.